Let's kick off with your view of the, the local market and, and what you're seeing. You've been back uh, for a couple of days. Yeah, lucky to, to get back. It took uh, four days to get out of the uh, UK with all the airports being uh, snowed in. But, um, so we very, really, really are lucky to have yeah, you on the I'm show very today. Lucky. <laughs> but very good to be back. And uh, you know, something that strikes me, having been away for a, for a while, is how vibrant and the, the development and the infrastructure de development happening in SA. You just, don't, you just don't see that in the developed world. And certainly comparing to the, the, uh, the UK, notwithstanding the, the inclement weather, um, the UK high street and the development going on in the UK is very subdued. There isn't any. You see in empty shops, uh, you've seen a lot of pound-type shops. Signs. That's it, a lot of pound-type shops coming up. And yes, there is a recovery coming from the, uh, the top. The financial sector is coming back. But coming back to the South African market on a comparative basis, the South African economy has been exceptionally well-placed to weather this economic storm. And we should come out of it really well. We're in a little bit of a holding pattern now because the market kind of tends to think that we're in an economic recovery, or aren't we? A lot's going to depend on the, the Q4 numbers coming out of the, uh, the US. It's further complicated by the fact that Q4 in 2008 was a horrendous year. That's when everything was, was, was falling out of bed. So it's going to be quite difficult to see to match expectations out of these Q4 numbers in relation to those, particularly because a lot of the earnings growth that came through last year has come through through cost cutting. It hasn't come through on the top, on the top line. And when you don't have that, that revenue growth, people aren't hiring, and that's been reflected in the, um, in the very high unemployment numbers. And you can only cut, cut costs to so a certain much. point. Absolutely. Otherwise, you cut into the muscle of the business. This is the big debate that most companies around the world have been having right that's now. That's it. So are we in an economic recovery or not? The jury's out, and Q4 numbers are going to be vitally important for that. But as I say, notwithstanding that, the South African economy has fared exceptionally well. Um, we're in for a, a good year this year. Uh, we're going to be well supported by, by, uh, by uh, metals. Uh, we're going to see, continue so to see strong demand. So do you subscribe demand. to Morgan Stanley actually saying that, that metals should gain about 32% all in all Absolutely. The, the, the raising of the reserve requirement out in China, I see as tremendous news because they're doing it because of how well and, 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 and how how booming the Chinese economy. How buoyant economy. the Chinese how economy is. It. So it's actually good news. Yes, the initial market reaction is small sell-off. And that's largely because the market is so fractious and everyone is very nervous to see how things are actually going to pan out. South African market is 16% off its all-time high. You say you're expecting a relatively good year. Does that equate to the market? What our long-term average certain. return is about 14% on the JSC. Yeah, I think, I think you need to be careful about treating the market as an, as an ab absolute whole here. Um, you've got to look at domestic stocks, you've got to look at stocks with international commodities exposure, and then of course there's that, that, that big wild card, what happens with the, uh, the uh, RAND. Um, if, if we continue to see excessive RAND strength, and there, there's a reasonable chance we might, then some of the big commodity players might suffer. Um, but certainly um, in terms of the domestically focused uh, uh, shares, uh, those will those will do I believe those will do quite well this year because we're in for an extended period of relatively low low interest rates uh, South Africa I believe is entering almost a, a mini purple patch not the same purple patch we had a while back but a mini pur purple patch where we have a, a whole lot of indicators all falling into pl all falling into place all pointing in the same di direction uh, going to be a lot of focus in on, on SA this but year is that direction going to be in positive absolutely territory? we've seen if, if, if you just have a look at the number of ETFs that have been launched with emerging market focus, right, for, for the current year, uh, Old Mutual Global Shares just announced five last night. Um, I'm still on UK time, so I'm staying up late. Uh, they, they, they still announced, they, they announced five last night. Um, you, look, you have a look at the number of um, commodities ETFs that are being launched. That is in response to what the market wants. And of course, there's more money flowing into emerging markets at this point than the developed world. Absolutely. But as I say, the big caveat here is the, the, the RAND. There's a tremendous cost of carry. And if you buy in RANDs, you're earning a decent interest rate. Whereas if you, if, and, and you, you, can, you can borrow dollars at pretty much zero. So that is the big caveat. If, if the RAND continues with, with excessive strength, that could be a little bit of a dampener on the party.